I've had a tick on my engine or with my engine for a while, so I'm finally finally gonna look into what's causing it. Uh, I already adjusted valves. I already changed injectors. Uh, last time it was just the valves that were out of adjustment, but I already readjusted them and no nothing happened. So I'm gonna find out why this engine's ticking. So right now I'm gonna just one by one start disconnecting all these injectors and uh, see which one's causing, if any of them are causing the tick, but which cylinder is causing the tick. So maybe, maybe we can narrow it down like that. Also start the engine with the valve cover off, see if everything looks like it's working in order. And uh, maybe, maybe it's something obvious, maybe it's not, but let's see. Something uh, super weird just happened. I was brake torquing this thing and uh, my water pump decided to uh, do this. Same thing with, uh, same thing with my uh, tensioner pulley and tensioner. I have no idea how this happened. I have no idea what failed first. But, yeah, I, I don't think that's supposed to happen. And I do not know how that happened. But, it's supposed to be fixing this thing, not doing whatever this happened. Yeah, I... I have no idea. That's that's really weird. Uh, if if anyone knows how this could have happened, please let me know. Yeah, I really thought I blew this thing up. It was brake torquing. Heard a pop. Then I heard a ton of fluid spill on the ground. Like it's over. It's probably a rod through the block, but like. This is the only thing that happened. It still, it still has like a weird knock from the injectors. I, I don't know what's wrong with this thing anymore. I changed the solenoid out. I checked all the valve adjustment. Still has a weird tick to it. Still runs. I don't know what to do at this point. So finally time to push this thing out into the street and just let it be, or is this thing worth putting money into, you know? Three hundred thousand miles. I don't know. What do I do? 
Bald people, you know me. If I, I wasn't in this screwed up living situation where I don't have a shop, I could get kicked out at any moment because, like, landlord and stuff, whatever. This engine would be out. But I have a, already have new rings, bearings, probably pistons, whatever, new head gasket, valve springs, junk, whatever. But what, what do I do here, you know? It's got a tick. Could be anything. Definitely not valve adjustment. Might be like a ring scraping on, on the cylinder wall. Might be like, you know, a hair of bearing, you know, scraped off the the bottom end, whatever, off a rod. You know, it could be could it be something simple. I I just rip the engine out of this thing, but like it's gonna be Antarctica here in like a couple months, and I'm definitely not gonna have like just ten grand to throw at this like in in a week to get it ready it's going to take me that couple months you know to to get that money to uh put this engine back in so screwed up you know but you know we'll, we'll figure it out keep this on the back burner whatever but yeah it's still a halfway decent truck if the engine is done you know why can't I just why why shouldn't I just throw a new motor in it? But I'm not gonna be able to do it here because that that's the only form of garage I have. I already told I got told I'm not allowed to use that all this stuff. Whatever. Maybe I break in one night and do it, but don't tell on me. Don't tell on me when it happens. Yeah. Let me know. It's a sick truck, though, you know? It'd really be awesome if it worked every once in a while. Yeah. I just can't believe I can't get to the bottom of this stupid tick. And how does this... How does this happen? You know, water pump to leak. Yeah, you see that? What what causes that? I'm pretty sure your your belt just doesn't tangle itself up. I mean, it was a relatively new belt, and it didn't tear, it didn't fray, it just got caught up somehow, it snapped, you know, whatever, but, like, how does that happen? Good thing no one was standing out here, but, whatever, I, I mean... Probably treat this thing nicer. If it ran better, I would, I mean. It's, it's time for an upgrade. It definitely is. Whether it be fixing the engine back up in this thing or saying goodbye to this thing once and for all, but probably going to be an engine instead of getting rid of this thing in whole. But when and where, I don't know. You tell me. You got a shop in the Chicagoland area and uh, you you don't mind freeloaders, hit me up. But until then, later.